sometimes difficult to remember, even to take in actually all the many biodiversity benefits of beavers. You know, the species including bats and kingfishers and herons and that the number of small mammals that live next to the water is higher in beaver areas. And so because the small mammals are benefiting, that means that the, the owls and the other raptors that live on small mammals are also benefiting. So the beavers came to Banff in 2002. It's changed the hyd hydrology. Um, the water's all held. We now have so many pools where before we just had a ditch which in summer was large, was almost dry very often. We now have all these pools and each of these pools is obviously full of wildlife. I mean, you know, there are all these little things like caddis fly larvae, you know, which are aquatic, the aquatic um, larval stage of so many invertebrates. And these are food for little fishes and the little fishes in turn are food for the heron and so on. And actually you also get this com complexification, if that's a word, of the surrounding land. So you end up with these dead trees and felled trees and horizontal trees and broken bits of tree and makes a fantastic contribution to biodiversity. It's habitat for woodpeckers, potentially for owls, and a huge number of fungi and mosses and all kinds of things flourish, lichen and so on, insects. So they, you know, may look a bit destructive to the untutored eye. This is really rather a wonderful thing that beavers do for us. Beavers will also take wood and put it into the water as a food source for them. That's because in winter that's their source of food. Not the outer bark, but the sort of inner layer, which is quite nutritious. I think it's not very nutritious, but it gets them through the winter. And so they will take food and they will stick these, stick these sticks in the water as a sort of larder. And actually one of the things that's going through the beaver's mind is that maybe the water will freeze over in, the, in a hard winter and then they won't be able to get out to get their food. So they like to keep some of the food in the mud at the bottom of the pond. And all this wood in the water is tremendously beneficial. It creates an absolute cascade of biodiversity. And actually, amongst the many species that it benefits, it benefits salmon. Not, not here, this isn't a salmon river. It's a trout river, but not a salmon river. The, the coarse woody debris in the water is actually a vital component for um, creating habitat for the par of salmonids. And um, so it goes on. You know, the, the trophic cascade on the one hand and the, the kind of the ecological pyramid on the other. You've, got, you've just got a, a, an extraordinarily important species, which is almost more than a keystone species. Heidi Perriman, who's a Californian beaver expert, she just says, the beaver is not an animal, it's an ecosystem. It's an ecosystem in itself. <laughs>